Hello everyone, my name is Michael Labby and welcome to Maine's Pro Wrestling History. It's a new weekly series where we take a brief moment to look back at some of the most lesser known facts and historical moments in pro wrestling here in the Pine Tree State. Like for instance, did you know on Wednesday, February 27, 1985, history was made in Bangor, Maine at the Bangor Auditorium. That night, Mario Ciboldi promoted an international championship wrestling card and it featured Dory Funk Jr., the former NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, challenging the World Wrestling Council Universal Champion, Carlos Colon. Now, the World Wrestling Council is a promotion that is based in Puerto Rico. It was established in 1972 by Carlos Colon, Gorilla Monsoon, and others. And it is still running to this day here in 2021. In 1982, they created the Universal Championship, a title that for the 39 years of its history has only ever changed hands outside the island of Puerto Rico one time. You guessed it, Wednesday, February 27, 1985 at the Bangor Auditorium. Dory Funk Jr. pinned Carlos Colon with his feet on the ropes to capture the title. You can watch it right here in this Best of ICW home video if you own it. It's also available on YouTube if you want to check it out. Now what's interesting is that night is that Carlos Colon was supposed to defend the title against Black Boardman and Dory Funk was supposed to wrestle Hercules IAF. That was with the advertised matches. But you know what they say in wrestling? Card is subject to change. And on this night, Dory Funk Jr. made history. 